So what do you want to talk about? Um, how are you feeling? How are, how is Elon Ferdman doing? You know, we've been saying this recently and like, I don't know how else to explain this. I honest, this is the, the, this is the most calm, Mm -hmm. peaceful, in tune, in alignment I have ever felt in my entire life. Like the words not to be taken lightly. Yeah. The ease and flow in which stuff is just happening is, um, you know, the, the, the one thing I'm noticing is like, as it's coming in, there's this receiving energy of disbelief. Like (laughs) how are these people just showing up in my life every single day? Like where are they finding me and how are they reaching out? Like, and then, then it goes into this whole agenda mode, which is like, what's their agenda? Where, right? It's just like, I'm, I'm watching all of this happen. It's very in the background. It's not, it's not in the foreground. It's very, you know, watching the mechanism do what the mechanism does. And it's this um, opportunity to just realize where my ability to receive is still limited. Mm. Because it's like, yeah, this is just how life gets to show up and this is how people just gets to show up and this is how easy it gets to be and all this stuff. And um, yeah, it's it's been really beautiful. And, and the one thing that I was kind of left with this morning, I had a conversation because one of these companies basically reached out to us um, and they've just kind of been tracking what we're doing and uh, wanted to see if there's a way that we can do some work together. And the guy asked me a question this morning and in the question, at least the way I heard it, maybe this wasn't the case for him, but at least the way I heard it was this little bit of a test of like, will I stick to my guns or will I just uh, bend and break and and say what he wants me to say? Um, And I think for any of you guys that know us by now, like that, that's just an impossibility. So um, I obviously said what there was for me to say, but I kind of left that call with this question of, and I was going to make a video about this. Maybe we could talk about this. Like where in your life do you sell out Mm -hmm. and where in your life sell out? Maybe that's like a harsh word. Um, fall fall off your integrity, like fall, fall out of your own alignment. Where in your life will you sell your truth to sound good to someone, to look good to someone because you believe that that's what they want to hear. Um, and it was just, I, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment box, you know, where, where have you felt? Cause look, it's, we've all done it. I mean, it's not, it's not like ever, anyone's impervious to this. We've all done it where you show up and you meet someone and maybe this someone is someone that you uh, think highly of or um, wanted some introduction or connection to. And all of a sudden you're with this person and you just get weird, you know, like we just get weird sometimes. Um, And so that's what I was kind of left with this morning is like, you know, you asked me how I feel like I love where I am in the alignment that I am where there is just no other way. It's just like, you know, he asked the question, he asked again, he's like, let me rephrase it. And I was like, no, th- th- this is it. Like, <laughs> this is it. Um, and the question was simple because, you know, like they're looking for ways to market certain people and brand certain people in a big way. And um, he's like, wait, so you wouldn't coach someone on, um, on how to grow their business? And I was like, well, no, we don't do business consulting. I said, what we do is we, we show people how to grow their businesses, but it's much more done, not in the how to world, but in the being world and how to work on your internal so that all this other stuff aligns. And so he's like, well, so you wouldn't market yourself as a business consultant. I was like, no, not directly. He goes, interesting. Why wouldn't you market yourself as a business consultant? I was like, cause there's a lot of other business consultants and I have no interest in sure. sitting with someone and road mapping their business because at the end of the day, that's not the reason they're not succeeding in the business. Sure. And, and at the end of it, he's like, wow, cool. Okay. I got it. I was like, awesome. 
So let me ask you this question, though. So, um, like, for instance, uh, a few of my friends went to an event this week that's similar to um, what that one woman, Sandra, can do. She just taps into the field. She sees that, all right, 50% of this room is dealing with this. However, she markets herself as a money manifestation kind of class. Yeah. But then, of course, you get there, and it's like, not that. Yeah. And it's not like it's, it's, not, like it's not that, but it's not that, right? It's not like, hey, we're just going to talk about money, and I'm going to do that. Because you know what, like, that's what gets people in the door. And I think that's what people miss all the time. And we, we just talked about on the training this morning, too, which is like, your ability to make money and have a business that works for you that's in full alignment, there's businesses that can cer certainly make a lot of money, but make you feel like shit. Yeah. And there's certain business that can make you feel amazing and make no money. Um, and it's like, okay, well, what's your alignment? Are you really the person who's just driven completely and just want the money? Or are you really just wanting to feel good and if you feel good does money really matter yeah. so for us it's like all your blockages are in the space of hey this doesn't feel good and if it doesn't feel good you're probably not going to take consistent action and certainly not aligned action and that's where i think it's easy to fall out of integrity so let's say we did choose to do that if we're if we marketed ourselves as people who can help people people make more money and that was the front not the front, like we're faking it, but that's how you got people in and on the back end. You're like, Hey, look, let's deep dive into your freaking soul. So you can make more money. Does that feel still out of alignment for you? No, not at all. And I, and I told him flat out, I was like, we help people grow their businesses, just not in the way that people think they need to grow their business. Right. Like we don't have a blueprint. I, I'm totally fine with being like, I will help you 10 X your business. I got nothing about that. I'm totally fine with saying, hey, we'll help you 10X your finances or uh, get ripped and get six pack abs. Like, cause I know we can provide people with the alignment to do all of that. The thing is that we just go about it in a very um, different way than what people's minds want. Okay, then it would have been more and, and appropriate. Here, hold on, let me just take yeah, it one please. step further than that is that people have tried that, right? Like when people come to us, generally, my, my assertion is that like the mind always takes you to the how-to first. The mind will take you to like, show me the five-step formula to get more clients and show me the uh, six-step process to get six-pack abs. Like that's what everyone goes to. And at the end of the day, they do one, they do 10, and they still are stuck in the same exact place. And I think at that point is when Satori Prime comes into play because it's like, look, it's not that that program is busted or that formula is busted or that how-to, it's not. And it's not even that you're busted, it's that just you're purely out of alignment. And when you get into alignment, then the how-to shows itself to you, like your unique how-to. And that I think is the key. Yeah, I love that. I think at the end of the day, it's like, where do you want to turn your dial to? I, I, I think what I heard is if somebody asks you that question, like you would be okay with that. And I think I would be okay with that too, right? Like whatever, and I don't want to say this like in a business type of way, but it's like whatever gets people in the door. And I mean that because a lot of people think that they need this thing in order to have the life that they want. And then you talk to someone like me and Eli, and then you discover that it has nothing to do with that. Like that, the where you've been looking and is why you're struggling. It's because you're not looking at it from a holistic point of view. How do all the systems work together? Yeah. How does that lead you to uh, the, uh, like I was going to say the, the acquisition of more wealth. And by the way, wealth doesn't necessarily just mean money. Wealth can be like personal well being and communication and, and just like feeling connected to people. Like that's all, and wealth. So I think it's like where, where Elon and I come from. Oh, well, just to go back. Yeah. So I think it, it's useful to create distinctions with people. Like if you mean bringing people in the door and giving them a five-step blueprint, that's what you guys are looking for in terms of like the assessment of growth of business. We're not those type of people. <laughs> if you want somebody who wants to focus on money and you want a holistic point of view on everything so that we can make their life better in every single way where that allows them to make more money, then yeah, we are those kind of coaches. I mean, look, here's the thing. Like you want more money, right? So I'll give you like a completely off the wall thing that probably no how-to formula is told you. Have more sex. True. Like, like, you know, there's no how-to formula. It's like, fuck your way to millions. Hold on, let me get my, let me get my emojis going, guys. I got to click, 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 click. Okay, good, I'm good, I'm good oh. now. 
I was so, just saying on, on that statement, you know, that, that deserves some good emojis. <laughs> I want to be part of the emoji train. F- fuck your way to millions. Yeah. Just that, talk, talk about a program that sells itself. Yeah, exactly. No, but like truly, you know, uh, guy, you said this on the other day on one of our uh, trainings. I don't even remember which ones cause they all blended into one at some point, but you know, like the root, the root chakra, which is right around your privates. Like that's the, energy creation source so there's no shock like it creates life it creates everything in your life and so as that energy flows you receive more money so if someone was like hey i want to create more money in my life right like okay great where is their mind going to go to if if you had a goal right now it's like okay i want to make a hundred thousand dollars this year i want to make a quarter million dollars this year i want to make a million dollars this year right here's what every single person is going to do They're going to sit down and their coach is going to be like, okay, well, how do we get there? What are your products? What are you selling? Who are you going to reach out to? How many of those products do you need to sell monthly, daily, et cetera, et cetera, right? And you'll know all these numbers. How is that making any fucking difference in your life right now? So now you know a goal and you know a target and that's great. How does that give you any of the alignment part? of the reason you're not acquiring those clients in the first place. Mm. Having those numbers, having that, I'm all for it, by the way. Like I'm not demeaning that aspect of it. I just think there needs to be a holistic approach to it, right? Like someone, it's like someone being like, I want six pack abs. So they're going to go to a gym five times a week, seven times a week and fucking do crunches. Guess what? You're not getting abs. You're just not, <laughs> you can, you can do it for the next year and just do fucking crunches every single day. You're not going to have six pack abs. Why? Strong, so, strong abdomen. Yeah. Because the, the, the largest part of actually having visible abs is your diet. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the exercise that you're doing on your stomach. Great analogy. And so, okay. You can write down all these goals and you can have all these things written out. But at the end of the day, if the underlying thing the reason you are not receiving that success in your life in whatever area, your relationships, your finances, your body, if that part isn't healed and you're not working on that, then all the other stuff is like, it's, it's spinning a fan much faster and the fan is not doing anything anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. I think that's a beautiful analogy. You're, you're, you're chasing achievement in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I and I remember doing that. I remember being 14 years old and wanting to cut abs. I would just sit down in the basement and do hun- hundreds of crunches every single day, and it has nothing to do with it. What I love about what you're sharing is that in order for that to happen, that alignment to happen, it's a it's a holistic approach. If if you're just working out but you're not working on your um, your diet right and you're not cleaning that up, like you don't have chances. And if you're not uh, also, by the way, cleaning up and working on your mind, you're going to go and brutalize your body. Mm-hmm. Like people, like people put all sorts of terrible things in their body from really cheap. And even I was, I was gonna say whey protein in general, but I know a lot of people like whey. So I'll leave that at that, but like really cheap supplements that have all sorts of toxins in them to pre-workouts. That I don't understand why people take to make themselves fucking crazy, you know, and all the other stuff you'll throw on your body in, in pursuit of something, right. That even when you get there is not even sustainable because your body couldn't possibly sustain that if you have to put that much crap in it to create that system, yeah. right? Like the way people look on steroids, not sustainable, not sustainable, right? So yeah, I think that's that's really beautiful. So yeah, um, yeah go ahead. One of these things that uh, Beck said to me a long time ago, you know, where most doctors, and, and think about this, like you have an issue with your relationships, okay? You have an issue with your finances. You have an issue with your kids, right? So what are you looking for? You're looking for a somebody, a professional, like a doctor, to diagnose what's wrong with you, okay? That, that's really like what our mind works because that's what we understand. It's like, okay, there's something wrong. There's something I get to work on. There's something, there's something I need to fix is basically what, what the languaging is. So I remember when Beck told me, he's like, look, we, most doctors, you get a blood panel and say you're, uh, you're B12 deficient. What will most doctors tell you to do? Get a B12 vitamin. Get a B12 vitamin, right? Like that makes sense. You're lacking B12. Okay, go get more B12. Now here's the thing that he explained to me and I, it just it's so beautiful and such a good analogy for all this stuff. If your body, 
the natural state of the body when it is in homeostasis, it creates all of this stuff naturally in the system. That's the natural state of your body, right? Like the body will take food and hopefully you give it good, good fuel and it will break it down and you'll have B12. Okay. If the body is not producing B12, then putting more B12 into a body that cannot process and create B12 is like a motor running at 4,000 RPMs and not doing much of anything. And then you're like, you know what? I'm just going to throw more fuel and I'm going to run this thing at 6,000 RPMs, but it's still not doing fucking anything. So now you throw all the system into absolute haywire to overload on this stuff, which breaks all of these other systems. Instead of actually looking inward and going, okay, let's look at this. Like, why isn't the body creating B12? And that's the difference between the how to and the being that, that we're trying to share here. It's like the being is the functioning thing that drives everything. And when the being is in alignment and when that stuff resonates and is humming, you can fucking do whatever you want and it mm-hmm. will still produce results. That's the key. Yeah. So I'm, I'm starting to see something that's consistently shown up for me is how, how do I measure research that's being given to, I can self-validate that's true in, in the most physical sense possible. I'm not talking about intuition. I'm not talking about anything else. It's something I've said for quite a while that I feel like I, I excel at is I can look at uh, micro and macro structures at the same time and test them against each other. So like more recently, I found that this is, this is like when, when you get quantifiable evidence in anything, I want to measure it against the whole of the universe and society to see is does those, do those patterns stay consistent when I look at everything as a whole? Because if we look at our society and the planet, it, it's an organism, organism with, with all sorts of other beings, right? So like cells in our body, they operate the same way and so on and so forth. I came across this really incredible video that led me to this product that I'm like gaga over. Like it, it went to be my number one supplement overnight, basically. And, and I, took it all last week. And generally speaking, people ask me like, well, what do you feel? What do you feel? And I'm like, well, it's different because I'm not, I'm not an, I, I'm a very well person. Like I, I I've had very little disease in my life. I haven't even had a cavity yet. I'm 34 years old with no cavities. Like, um, and, and it's, a, and again, this is not part of it could be genetics. Surely we can make a case for that. Part of it is I, I, I live a very healthy lifestyle and not sedentary and, and stuff like that. Um, so when I take something, I, I usually actually see a response fairly quick, but it's going to be a lot more subtle in my body versus someone who might take that and lose like 40 pounds in two yeah. months, right? That's like, I'm not going to lose 40 pounds. So, um, but something this, this doctor said, he goes, the, the whole of disease, he was basically talking about bacteria and viruses and all these different pathogens that we look at and we think about so negatively, instead of actually looking at the symbiotic relationship we have between them and actually how much information you're receiving from bacteria and viruses that are actually helping your genetic makeup. And that there's like this um, uh, quantitative positive and negative effect by environmental things. And that your body is actually designed to always be more positive than negative. So it can actually stay ahead of everything. But mm. when this falls off because of what we're getting, glyphosate, that's what we get from like Roundup. It's uh, all the pesticides that they're using on our food and our animals. It's in our rain. So basically 75% of everything you're consuming has glyphosate in it. So if yeah. you want to look up glyphosate, look up uh, Monsanto, look up Roundup, and you'll know why everyone's pissed off at Monsanto because they're basically destroying the fucking planet with, with this chemical. And when you get glyphosate in your body, what it starts doing is deteriorating the communication sectors of the body, meaning the cells can no longer uh, adequately speak to one another and to your body and to all the other holistic systems. When this happens, the best explanation I've ever heard for cancer is a cell who's cut off from communication from the body can no longer speak to the rest of the body. So the cells are speaking to the body because it's saying, Hey, I need resource please send down resource. I'm not well. Yeah. Right. And when that resource gets there, the cell gets well, but the, if, if it's cut off in the communication system, it's like, it's yelling and that's not going anywhere. So now the cell gets isolated. And as the cell gets isolated, um, it's dying. It gets and its last, yeah. And at its last breath, because it's designed for survival, like we all are in its, uh, in it's seeking to pass down its genetic information. It starts multiplying very quickly but it's multiplying very quickly and not talking to the body. So the body doesn't know. And this is cancer. 
So if you, if you look at, and this, this is why I hit rank so true for me, cause it's like, what's the worst thing to do to any human being is isolate them. Isolation. Right. Those are the people who end up going to schools, shooting people, right? We have a symptomatic in America. Again, this is all glyphosate and, and communication breakdown. Um, and then what do we say when something like that happens? There are, can- there are cancer onto society. We actually have that saying. And that's why for me, like I saw that research and I'm like, oh my God, this makes so much sense, right? So how do we build that biome that allows for that connective tissue to start communicating again at the highest level? You know, it, it, to try to change the food right now is way behind the ball because it's like, there's a big ass machine running that's going to take some time. And it's like looking at what can we do now? So I'm saying all this because I want to bring it back down to that's how we work too. Like in beingness, what are the things that really I think we're all seeking is connectivity, right? And communication. If you can create those two things at, at, in your life at a high level, guys, you're fucking golden. Yep. You're golden. Your business is golden. Your health is golden. Like everything is golden. You're going to feel well. And when you feel well for whatever negative impacts are happening in the world, you're positive. You're good. And, and I think this is the harmonization that we're kind of all, all looking for. So I agree, right? Like how, like people have money, but like, they're so negative about money. So it's like the negativity is up here. They're not well, and it can't keep up and it's actually destroying them. It's not helping them. So it's like every, everything, every, and I think we can look at any goal in the world and say, Hey, where, where is your alignment with it? And if it's not true to who you are, then I actually say it probably has more of a negative effect than, than a positive effect on your life. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, if you guys want to ask me questions about what it was and product and whatnot, I can, I can send you details. I would just say private message me. Yeah, no, it's interesting that product too. I like, I can't say that I feel a difference. I also don't think it's that kind of product. Yeah. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting to see, I'll tell you like little things that I've noticed uh, little aches and pains, like even with taking collagen, um, I've seen are not as present. Um, so that's like little things I'm curious over a long period of time, especially with, uh, sickness, like actually being sick and being impervious to being sick and things like that. Uh, the thing that, that really took me by surprise in, in that, uh, talk that he gave was in my head, I always thought the gut was just a, like the stomach, like gut stomach. Um, I didn't realize the gut actually starts from your nasal cavities and goes all the way down. I, I yeah. had no idea. Mm-hmm. So that was really, really fascinating. I think, I think it's fascinating also how much it's in, it's, it's the thing that's actually controlling the serotonin and dopamine levels. Like we, yeah. we've, we've, we've thought of it as relegated to the brain and how it's perceiving, but it's like, you have this bacteria that's actually driving all this, the bus essentially. And we're, sterilizing our world in such a way that's actually making it impossible for us to get proper communication from our environment. Yeah. 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 It's brilliant. It, it was really, really fun. I mean, I love listening to super, super smart people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look for me, I, I don't know if it is or it isn't like last week, I was just in a great mood all week long. I suddenly am sleeping about an hour a night less, maybe even less than that but than before. And I wake up and I'm like, I'm surprised that I'm so energized. Mm. Uh, I don't know that any product I've had or put in my body has helped me feel like that before. Um, and I could certainly align it with the, mo- the day I started taking that. Mm. Um, and, I, and, I, and for me, it's like, this is a compounding effect because it should take two to three months to even get the system back to, you know, where I think it, it gets to go. But like even nootropics, like I've, not that I've been taking much of them anyway. I felt like zero need to take nootropics. I just feel sharp. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, it's been really, really awesome. So, uh, and, and it's not about even uh, talking about the product necessarily. Uh, it's just that like, again, much more holistic point of view than what I had before. I was like relegated to trying to deal with something in one way. Now I'm like, holy crap. I didn't even think of it that way. And so yeah. there's a lot of science that backs us up. Um, and suddenly it's like, you know, effortless manifestation, boom, there you go. And a lot of things are just falling together. I also think it's very interesting timing with like going to Columbia and like cleansing the body, getting the gut real strong and stuff like that. Um, and, and funny, funny enough for me, it's like the last, oh, fuck man, I'm going to be so honest here. Like the last two, three weeks, I've just been gassy, like really fucking gassy. And I, and I'm not like a gassy person usually. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in here? But it's, it's funny. Cause like, I've had this context most of my life that I have like this iron stomach 
like I can eat just about anything. I, I like to eat everything. I, I, I rarely get any conditions in here at all. And then maybe like a month ago, you know, like my belly kind of protrudes out a little bit. It's got that, like that, you know, I've had that like round belly thing, like most of my life. And I thought to myself, I'm like, wow, you know, everything is energy. There must be something because I felt it so many times. There must be this energy, like this ball of energy stuck back there. That's actually pushing the stomach out. Yeah. And I, and I, and I just got, and that was it. That was like, just that, that started curiosity three weeks of just like, you know, like after that, basically, and my stomach has been flattening out. It's like, again, like all energy, man. I, I mean, I, I feel now like I'm, I'm back to and have made more progress than where I was maybe like six months ago when I actually thought I was in the best shape of my life. And then like, you know, Europe and food and New Year's and Thanksgiving and wine and this and that. And then like, suddenly I'm like, oh, wow, this is really interesting. My body's reshaping itself again. So it's like so interesting to consistently look at the dynamic of the body and like what's going on. Like, why is it? Okay, there's that pain there. Well, why is that pain there? And then just get curious and then just keep observing it, not the pain to feel, to be like, oh, I'm in pain. What's underneath the pain? What's the energy that's blocked there? And it just naturally arises and shows you. And then opportunities like this come. And of course, then you find the right video and suddenly this is changing. It's like, it it just never ceases to amaze me how this stuff works. Yeah. Yeah. It really is funny about uh, you were saying about the body and stuff like that. So uh, for the month of March, I actually probably started in the beginning of uh, end of February, but I, uh, I don't drink alcohol and I don't eat processed sugars. I did it last year before Columbia and I'm doing it this time. I have to tell you, I don't think people quite understand the effect of alcohol and sugar on their body and specifically on your brain. Mm. until you actually Stop. remove it from your body. Uh, because I, it's not like I drink a lot. In, in fact, I, I maybe, maybe drink once a week now. And even when I do drink, it's, you know, two glasses of wine or two beers or something like that. It, you know, I'm not, I'm not like not allowing myself. And then all of a sudden I'm like 10 beers deep. I, you know, I just don't do that anymore. Um, or, or very, very, very rarely. Um, with that being said, you know, like I just notice how much more clarity and I would even say like synaptic abilities. What I mean by that is like the connection of things and how quickly I can feel connections being made in my, in my brain where I'll be thinking about something and then I'll have like three awesome ideas about a video I want to create or um, I'll be talking to someone and it's just like feeling really, really sharp. So aside from obviously the effects on the body, which, you know, we're in really good shape to begin with. So like when you remove something, you just see like your whole body re kind of like configure itself and you can actually see it. Um, it's just really interesting. Like that, that, um, effect that it has. And I was saying to Fanny just the other day, you know, when I was in college and I was smoking weed pretty much every single day. And then I remember like during midterms and finals, I would quit for those two, three weeks. Cause I was like, I, I need my, my brain there. I remember like every time there was do during those two, three weeks, that's when I actually felt what an impact weed was having on my life. Because when I was doing it every single day, like there was no impact. I, I didn't feel like I was less sharp. I didn't feel like I was more tired or groggy or snappy or anything like that. And all of a sudden you remove something and you're like, Whoa, that's huge. Yep. So yeah, it's been really fun experimenting like that. And I think that's, yeah, I, I would attest to that too. I mean, look, we're, we're voluntarily putting poisons into our body on a regular basis for all yeah. sorts of effects. And maybe we get to, you know, translate what that means too. Cause like, I, I never really thought of bacteria as, I know there's good bacteria, bad bacteria. I never thought of it as a biome, again, as a holistic system that's working with you. And, and then certainly, I guess that, that that's a shift we get to make in society now because it, that was very groundbreaking to hear to hear that conversation. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I, I like running experiments. Yeah. Surely, I think everything in moderation. I think the stop things cold turkey is usually very difficult um, and just create stress. And if you create stress, you're going to get more of that thing that you don't want anyway. So F Fanny was laughing at me because I'm I'm very anti-establishment, very anti-rules. 
um, don't like don't like other people's rules. She's like, but it's really funny that you make up your own rules and you stick to them and they don't need to make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. That's My like rules are great. My rules part are of that rigid great. structure, right? Yeah. But it's really funny because you think about it like, we, obviously, you know, in a month, like we're always in social interactions and social things. And it's like, there's, there's wine or drinks with every dinner or meal or whatever. And then at the end, like you're, whatever you're out socially, people are ordering dessert and you're like, I'm not going to eat that, you know? So th there's all sorts of these things. And, and it's just funny to her where, where it's like, if someone on, for example, like Passover is coming up, right. And it's like, don't eat bread, only eat matzah. I'm like, fuck you. I'm eating bread. <laughs> Even though this, you know, this time I'm not going to, but like, it's those rules where I'm like, no, I'm not fucking following those at all. Like, you can't make me, but like my self-imposed rules, I'm like, yeah, these, these make absolute total sense. So it is. Everyone's alignment's differently. Mm -hmm. Everyone's alignment is different. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Anything else you want to share? No, that's it. Very cool. Excited. Oh my God. So excited. So excited. It's just, it's just like constantly hitting me how close we are to being there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I keep replaying like different messages. I'll tell you the one thing that's, that's I'm, I'm really consciously trying to make myself aware of is, um, you know, sometimes you go into these things and you're like, oh, I know this, like I've already been there. Like I've already done that. And I just know that it's not that at all. Like no. it is going to be completely new. Like we'd never even been there or done that before. And uh, part of me is like, I can feel certain parts of me being like, remember how we did this? And remember how we did that? And remember that this was good? And like, remember to do this? And, and I'm like, you have no matter. idea. Yeah. <laughs> no None idea. of that matters. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. A whole, whole new experience. Yeah. Super, All right, super guys, uh, before we go, I just wanted to tell you guys about one thing. I realized like we just don't share this nearly enough. And then like a whole bunch of people took took advantage of this last week. So we have this uh, course called a Mindfluence course. It's a uh, 10 part uh, course uh, at home course. That's really, really powerful. But I want to do you guys a solid because for these, those of you guys who regularly come on these trainings, like we really value and honor the fact that you give us your time, you're listening and all that other stuff. Um, we have another program called Prime Your Day. And you can go in and check that out. I, I did a short, short link to it, just satoriprime.com backslash PYD. But here's the solid I'm going to do you. You can actually pick up Prime Your Day plus Mindfluence. It's an add-on bonus there for an additional 50 bucks. And instead of buying Mindfluence by itself for 297 during that promotional period, so the moment you click on there, you'll have 24 hours to take advantage of it. You can actually get both courses for just $97. So it's an amazing deal, stupid deal. I mean, sh shit should be way, way, way more. Um, and if you're like just at all interested in dipping your toes to go deeper into the type of training that Elon and I do without coming into one of our more top tier programs, which could be up to $10,000 a month, it's a great way for you guys to find out whether or not uh, it's a good fit to work with us. Everything comes with a lifetime money back guarantee. So if you're not totally elated by what you're learning, just ask for your money back. There's very little to lose. I just realized we don't, just don't share nearly enough about the programs we have out there. So just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Again, satoriprime.com backslash PYD if you want to check that out. And uh, it's a, kind of like a morning alignment routine that Elon and I do. It's how we get our health in order, how we get our mind in order, how we get our feelings in order. And then there's a much more in-depth course there that you guys can actually um, learn in a really deep way about the power of linguistics and how that relates to actually your ability to manifest reality and how you're um, basically cr creating what you're seeing through the power of linguistics. So um, yeah, I see you guys are popping in there and asking questions. So I'll drop the link right now, but yes, it is PYD, like pretty, pretty young. I don't know. I don't want to say the last word I thought for D, for D. <laughs> pretty young dude. Well, there's pretty young thing, but I wasn't thinking dude. I don't want to know what you're thinking. Yeah. You're, you're what, what you, what you think I'm thinking is what I'm thinking. But anyway, ever love pretty you guys. Young, pretty young duck. Yeah. Duck. Um, pretty. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are basically off to South America for a few weeks. So we'll be on here as much as we possibly can, uh, on a regularly scheduled times. Um, yeah. And we're looking forward to coming back and sharing all the juiciness that, that comes out of uh, sharing space with ayahuasca. Love, Love you, you people. All. Make it an amazing week guys. Yep. Bye.